This video is about how I've got this um, problem with one of my bottles, one of my Miller Home Draft bottles actually. I was forced carbon, or not forced carbon, naturally carbonating and I noticed that um, it was leaking and it wasn't too pleasant. I had a big mess to clean up. And then I noticed on the feet of the bottle there were these, these white cracks and two of the feet actually had white cracks like in them and the bottom of the bottle as we saw earlier in that first opening clip had the, the significant cracks that were um, that were leaking um, it was still holding some pressure and if you look at the bottom of the bottle it's bowed out more you can't tell in this shot but when we compare it to the next to the empty bottle you'll see that the bottom is forced out and it, it actually rocks on that nib so if you look at the empty bottle on the right here you can see that that stuff that that bottle is it's the same bottle actually but the one on the left the one that was um, carbonating um, it pushed the bottom out and when it did it created these these stress areas that white area in fact if I took my finger and just pushed on that when the bottle was full it would actually fizz beer out of that thing out of that that one crack and so I had these things room temperature just you know just just bottle carbonating and um, that particular one um, messed up so so here I'm opening it and, and you heard that it was carbonated so it was holding some pressure but I um, but I think about uh, t uh, two thirds of the bottle uh, actually had had leaked out, so I lost that little bit of beer. Um, so I just decided I'd have I'd have a beer, at least get a couple of beers out of it. Um, and I have another bottle here that is actually exhibiting the same signs with a bowing on the bottom and rocking around um, uncharacteristically. Um, so I decided that I was gonna. Um, like ins inspect it and the bottom of this one didn't have the serious cracks that the other one had now the bottle you're looking at that's the new design Tappa Draft and I see why they did it uh, why they redesigned it they made it stronger so anyway here's the next day I'm um, looking at the bottom of the bottle I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna tap it so got myself a tap and um, sitting on the kitchen counter here I have this wrench that I use for these caps and at the end of this video we'll talk about the, the different caps that I used I used to think that uh, the cap would fail before the bottle would fail but that's not true as it turns out um, I use poly seal caps um, they, they tend to be the ones that hold the best anyway we'll get into that shortly so here I am tapping the um, the one bottle that looked like it might fail next I th this that the bottle obviously the failed bottle I'm never going to use again and and this one I won't use either this is a, a I mean, maybe I'll use it for cleaning or you know keep it around but um, it's basically not uh, not any good anymore they don't last forever and um, I was surprised that uh, that they failed like this so now let's talk about caps the caps they give you when you buy them um, they're plastic and they're pretty flimsy when they go on there they seal actually you know because there's no pressure inside they seal you know on the on the lip of the jar which is slightly to the inside of the cap but what happens is the pressure builds up and it actually forces that plastic cap to have a little bit of a dome I'm exaggerating here but where it's sealed before is no longer sealing so you know uh, uh, co2 can escape hopefully you've got it set vertically vertically so that it doesn't so beer doesn't escape and so if you look at like the the way the poly seal cap works and I sort of have a love-hate relationship with these poly poly seal caps I they they work a little bit better but they're brittle and they crack and they have a post in the middle it's hard to see in the next shot but they have a post in the middle so anyway here's the cap I just took off of that um, of that uh, beer that I just tapped and I take a couple of little small screwdrivers to take this um, this piece of plastic out so I could clean it pops out um, but those posts will break off the posts will break off if you don't if you're not careful about how you get it out of there and of course you don't want to chew it up by sticking something like a knife or something where it would it would chew up the seal 
Um, so anyway, you can barely see the post that the that that plastic thing seals on, and those, like I said, those caps are really brittle. But we're using that that um, rubber strap wrench thing that I got. Um, it, uh, it it handles these caps pretty well, but you still have to as soon as the fermentation is started, you have to go back and tighten them down. And I again, uh, you could check my other videos, but I usually put a balloon over the top so I can make sure I know if it's leaking. Now this is the cap they give you, and the one that the top bows out on, and it's very difficult to actually keep it sealed. I've had beers that you know I keep you know day after day keep going back and keep on having to tighten and and uh, they still leak. This is the cap that comes on the three liter bottles that you can get at the dollar store and uh, you know shoot I pay 79 cents for a poly seal cap and that one um, that one from the dollar store works almost as good and so yeah here's that here's the cap they give you when you buy the tapa draft uh, not, not too uh, not too good um, not very tall height wise and uh, not very good at sealing. I mean, it'll work, but um, it'll, like I said, it bows up like that. So anyway, the end of the video here, I'll just remind you that if you have a Tapa Draft or a Miller Home Draft bottle that has these stressed fractures and the bottom is bowed out, um, you, you better, uh, and, or if it has, especially if it has this kind of a crack in it, you better get that beer tapped and drink it because otherwise, you're going to have a mess.